Hello everyone. So today I want to talk about diffusing essential oils, why you would want to do it, how you do it, how it works. I'm very passionate about diffusing oils, not just because of the benefits, but also to make my house smell good um, because I got rid of toxic and artificial fragrance a long time ago. So I don't use candles and things like that so diffusing is the alternative that i use so first i want to explain a little bit of the science behind essential oils so i have a whole video explaining what an essential oil is and how it is distilled or cold pressed or what process they use to get the essential oil out of a plant. Basically, essential oils are the volatile aromatic compounds extracted or distilled or cold pressed or hydro distilled from plants. And then the aromatic constituents of essential oils, such as terpenes, monoterpenes, phenols, they are constructed of long chains of carbon and hydrogen atoms, which have a predominantly ring-like structure. Links of carbon atoms form the backbone of these chains with oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, and other carbon atoms attached at various points of the chain. So essential oils have different chemistry than fatty oils. So this is why you can diffuse them because they're not heavy they're not fatty they are very light and when put in a diffuser they easily turn into gas in the air so i use cold diffusers to diffuse my oils so basically it has like a metal ultrasonic plate that vibrates very quickly and gets the water to come up and almost look like steam but it's actually not hot water it is cold water, room temperature water. And then the oils that you put in there, uh, they quickly and easily turn to gas. And so that's why in a diffuser, you'll fill it with mostly water. And then depending on the size and kind of diffuser and kind of oil that you are diffusing, you will do like anywhere from four to maybe 12 drops in your diffuser. I wanna talk about the science of smelling oils or really smelling anything. So the book that I'm reading says that when fragrance is inhaled, the airborne odor molecules travel up the nostrils to the olfactory epithelium or the center of the olfactory sensation. So this is in your brain. So the olfactory receptors are triggered and send an impulse to the olfactory bulb. So each different olfactory receptor type sends an impulse to the particular micro region in your brain. So the olfactory bulb transmits impulses to parts of your brain, such as the gustatory center, the amygdala, which is your emotions, and parts of the limbic system. So you see how smells, yes, when they go into your nose, they go to your brain and your brain can uh, send those smells and compounds to other parts of your body and other parts of your brain. So it mentioned the amygdala, which is how smelling a smell can actually affect your emotions. Um, so basically, the limbic system is directly connected to those parts of the brain that control heart rate, blood pressure, breathing, memory, stress levels, and hormone balances. So you could see how it sounds crazy, but a smell, an aroma, can make a difference to how your brain sends signals to your blood pressure and breathing and memory and stress levels and hormones. And so that is how oils can be really good. And that's how also uh, artificial fragrance can be really bad because it goes to your endocrine receptors, which is perceived by your body as like a diff, like hormones. And it can really throw off your 
hormones and your levels and everything. And then they go on to say that different smells and different aromas have different shapes and they fit into different receptors. So basically this is how lavender can have a calming effect because it goes to your amygdala and maybe helps with that emotion or maybe it's the receptor goes to your breathing and can help slow your breathing and calm you down. Um, so that is how, because different compounds fit into different receptors, that is how different essential oils and different aromas can have a different impact on your body and your emotions and how they make okay. you feel. So I'm in my kitchen where I have my favorite diffuser. Uh, because it's beautiful. I love that diffusers are so pretty and they fit in with decor. So it can give a really good aesthetic, just like how candles can. But since I diffuse with this diffuser the most, I have this oils rack next to it. So I'm gonna go through my favorite oils to diffuse. So like I mentioned, lavender is really good for being calming and same with stress away or their blend peace and calming which i already explained how diffusing certain scents can actually have an effect on your emotions and your breathing and your blood pressure and actually calm you down so yes stress away can like kind of make you feel less stressed or peace and calming can kind of make you feel a little more peaceful and calm. And then I love peppermint. Peppermint is very energizing. Um, I know that it also helps increase oxygen to your brain, but there's something about that specific aroma that really wakes you up. So I love to diffuse peppermint or do a blend with peppermint if I am tired and need a boost of energy. But then as far as my favorite scents to smell, so I have talked about this on my Instagram a million times, but I don't love the smell of any of their florally oils or the tree oils. But for some reason, when you combine them, it smells amazing. So I like Ylang Ylang, uh, which is a florally oil with Northern Lights Black Spruce. That is a really good blend. Um, I love Citrus Fresh, which is just a really fresh citrusy smell with a little bit of spearmint so it make, gives that like minty fresh smell throughout your house and then I love Devana. I have talked about Devana a million times because it is probably the strongest oil to diffuse like it is just really strong just a few drops will fill a whole room versus some other oils are a little less pungent and you have to use a little more drops to really feel like you smell it throughout the whole room. And then lastly, I wanna talk about Thieves. Thieves is really good for clearing the air and boosting your immune system, but it also is a blend of like clove, lemon, cinnamon, and rosemary. So it's a very spicy, fall smell that I love to diffuse, especially during fall. And I love to pair it with Devana to really sweeten it up, or you could pair it with lemon. And then lastly, the other oil I diffuse a lot is the blend purification, because this is really good at clearing out the air and getting rid of any lingering smell. So I always say that my favorite is to use this when cleaning, but especially after cooking, because you know how that scent can kind of linger after cooking and you, you're like, yeah, the onion smelled good while I was cooking it, but now that I'm done with dinner, I don't want my whole house to smell like that anymore. So that is when I would diffuse purification. My favorite thing to mix purification with is grapefruit when diffusing. It smells amazing. So I hope that this video kind of explained to you how you diffuse oils, why you diffuse oils, and gave you some 
inspiration for blends you want to just smell because they smell good and can replace artificial candles as well as some blends that can be diffused for a specific purpose like lavender to calm you down or peppermint to give you energy so thank you guys so much for watching please consider liking this video if you liked it and subscribe for more content